the untold story of the medieval period, 5th to 15th century. The medieval period, also known as the Middle Ages, spans roughly from the fall of the Western Roman Empire in the 5th century to the beginning of the Renaissance in the 15th century. This millennium is characterized by profound transformations in politics, society, culture, and religion across Europe. Marking a bridge between ancient and modern history, the early medieval period began with the decline of the Western Roman Empire around 476 AD, leading to the fragmentation of Western Europe into a patchwork of kingdoms and territories ruled by Germanic tribes such as the Visigoths, Ostrogoths, Franks, and Lombards. The disintegration of centralized Roman authority caused economic regression, urban decline, and a decrease in trade and literacy. Meanwhile, the Eastern Roman Empire, known as the Byzantine Empire, continued to thrive with its capital in Constantinople. Under Emperor Justinian, 527 to 565, the empire attempted to reconquer lost Western territories. Concurrently, the seventh century saw the rapid rise of Islam in the Arabian Peninsula. The Islamic caliphates expanded swiftly conquering vast territories, including the Byzantine provinces of Syria, Egypt, and North Africa, and later pushing into Spain and parts of Southern Italy. The Frankish kingdom under the Merovingian dynasty gained prominence, particularly with Clovis III de Rieu c. 466, 511, who united many of the Frankish tribes and converted to Christianity, aligning his kingdom with the Roman Catholic Church. This alliance laid the foundation for the Carolingian dynasty, especially under Charlemagne, 768, 814. Charlemagne's reign marked a cultural and intellectual revival known as the Carolingian Renaissance, emphasizing the preservation of classical texts and learning. The High Middle Ages, 11th to 13th century, were characterized by population growth, agricultural advancements, and the expansion of trade. This period saw the rise of powerful monarchies, the development of feudalism, and significant religious movements. Feudalism became the dominant social and economic structure. Society was organized hierarchically, with the king granting land to nobles, vassals, in exchange for military service. These nobles, in turn, had peasants or serfs working the land. This system provided stability but also entrenched social inequalities. The Roman Catholic Church emerged as a unifying force across Europe, wielding immense spiritual and temporal power. The papacy asserted its authority over secular rulers, leading to conflicts like the investiture controversy between the Pope and the Holy Roman Emperor over the appointment of church officials. The Crusades, beginning in 1096, were a series of religious wars initiated by the Latin Church to reclaim the Holy Land from Muslim control. These campaigns had profound impacts, including increased trade with the East, the transfer of knowledge, and the weakening of the Byzantine Empire. The 12th and 13th centuries experienced a revival of learning, spurred by the translation of Arabic and Greek texts into Latin. Universities such as those in Bologna, Paris, and Oxford were established becoming centers of scholastic learning where philosophy, theology, and science were studied intensively. Late Middle Ages, 14th to 15th century, Black Deaths. The late medieval period was a time of crisis and transformation, marked by demographic, political, and social upheaval. The most catastrophic event was the Black Death, 1347-1351, which decimated about one-third of Europe's population. This pandemic had far-reaching consequences, including labor shortages, economic decline, and social unrest. The reduced population led to increased wages for peasants and contributed to the decline of the feudal system. The Hundred Years' War, 1337-1453, between England and France, was a protracted conflict over territorial disputes and claims to the French throne. This war saw the rise of national identities, the development of new military technologies like the longbow, and significant political changes, 
including the decline of feudal armies in favor of professional standing armies. The late Middle Ages witnessed internal strife within the church, culminating in the Great Schism, 1378-1417, where multiple claimants to the papacy emerged, each with different political allegiances. This schism undermined the church's authority and led to calls for reform, exemplified by figures such as John Wycliffe and Jan Hus, who criticized clerical corruption and advocated for a return to a more pious and scripture-centered Christianity. Rise of nation-states and the Renaissance. By the 15th century, the foundations of modern nation-states were being laid, particularly in England, France, and Spain, where centralized monarchies began to consolidate power. The end of the medieval period also saw the dawn of the Renaissance, a cultural movement that emphasized the rediscovery of classical knowledge, the humanist philosophy, and artistic innovations. This era marked a shift towards the modern age, driven by advances in science, exploration, and a renewed interest in the ancient world.